hearts never lie, but they are never easy to read. Jonathan Reed, at last we meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. Usher Talltree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me? Yes, they tell me everything. They told me that you struggle hard not to take too many lives. Can you read the cards for me? Are you sure you want to know what they will reveal? Yes, I am. It will cost you 150 shillings. Here is the money. The alchemist. A wise and cunning mind who lives by lying to all but himself. He sells false promises and is proud of it. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I really don't know. I don't often go outside, and when I do, it's usually to quite distant destinations. So you see nothing in the stars for me. You're a poor fortune teller, then. Oh, I can tell you many things, but they will only concern you, not the city. For example, I know that you offered your sister the final rest she asked for. Do the cards speak of my Mary? No. It's the burning aura of guilt that precedes you everywhere you go. Read my fortune, then. You have been chosen, Jonathan. I see on you the mark of a strong being, so powerful it needn't even reveal its strength. Tell me about yourself. What do you do here? Besides turning cards in the middle of the night. I'm for most a charlatan. For a few, I'm a vampire. And for you, I'm the primate of St. Paul's Stole. Some believe you to be a vampire. Who? The guard of Prewen, who else? For a time, they sent spies to observe my activities. And they even broke into my home to gather proof. Did they steal anything from you? A personal notebook they quickly took to their headquarters. All they had to do is to look at me. I'm aging. What better and definite proof that I'm not an immortal? Do you want your notebook back? If you ever find it, I'd be glad to have it back, of course. I do ask one thing, though. Do not read it, Jonathan. Some secrets are not meant to be revealed even to immortals. For how long have you been a primate? It was 15 years last year. What do you make of Dr. Swansea? Edgar is a brilliant and dedicated man. A man of his time, sometimes a little muddled, but always looking for new paths and new concepts. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The guards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? A vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. All right. Let me hear it. The walls of your prison have already been raised, Jonathan. But you will freely accept to be locked inside, full of hope for a better day. I would rather not know. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The car Is it post vampire? How did you learn about Mary? And spare me the hocus pocus parlor tricks. The truth! Now, Swansea told me. Don't look at me like that. His task is to observe and gather information about vampires. He had to tell me about Mary. Mary did not deserve her fate. 
She had already suffered enough during her life. And yet the pain and the suffering went on after her death. Suffering is part of the immortal condition. Some prefer to lose their minds rather than face the simple truth. Pain will never stop. May I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. I know there is no love lost between the Guard of Prewen and the Brotherhood. What caused this rift? It was 1801. The Brotherhood was stronger then, a strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided them, and the wound never healed. What was the nature of the disagreement? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. We divide up the books, the relics, not always fairly or with consideration. Who founded the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question I cannot answer. It is delicate and may reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club of academics and scholars? Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more ferocious and corrupted. Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson? Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts, readings which blackened his heart. Goodbye, sir. Until we meet again. I rarely wander, yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. Perhaps London will survive the epidemic, but I see terrible trials awaiting in the future. So Prewen never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Oh, it's fast! 
Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. It's locked. It's locked, all right. It's locked. I should find the key to that box. Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better... don't know if I should read this. Good evening, Jonathan Reed. Can I help you in any way? I found your notebook. The one the guard of Prewen stole from you. And you've brought it back to me. That's excellent news, Jonathan. Were you able to keep yourself from reading it? <laughs> no. Ah, the oldest temptation of all. If Pandora herself did not pass the test, I suppose I should not blame you for your curiosity. So you're not angry with me? Why should I be? To live is to make choices, Jonathan. And you made yours. Now give it to me, please.
Tell me the truth, Usher. Are you a vampire? By the stole, you really thought you could force Usher Talltree to yield to your little mind tricks like an oblivious mortal? Why can't I force you to answer me then? I'm the primate of St. Paul's stole. It comes with certain advantages, like accessing the greatest library in the country and avoiding answering certain questions. So, are you or are you not a vampire? As a brilliant man once said, to be unambiguous can only be to one's own detriment. Do you require medical attention? If you don't mind. You'll feel better after taking this. Thank you very much. I feel better already. Have you any news concerning Aloysius Dawson? What was his last thought, I wonder? Goodbye, sir. Until we meet again. I rarely wander. Yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. A red river, a song in the dark, the whispers of a sun.